Hi guys, so for today we're going to talk about your weight and its correlation on your plantar fascia. So this is going to be the third part of the video series that I'm doing on how to get rid or completely get rid of your plantar or heel pain. So guys, please watch until the end of this video because it's not just about your weight that has a correlation on your plantar fascia or heel pain. The information that I'm going to share right now would be really is really good and really important in managing heel pain and it will be also one of the few principles that we'll be looking at when we do some of the exercises for our foot and plantar fascia by the way guys if you're new to this channel i'm gorby i'm a physical therapist i make videos here online that can help people alleviate pain and help them live a life that is pain free so if you're someone who's experiencing pain on your body please click that subscribe button right now and your, that notification bell so that you won't miss out the videos that i put out and maybe one day it will help you with the pain that you are experiencing okay so to answer the question does weight have correlation on your heel pain or plantar fascia the answer is yes so the higher the weight or the greater the load that you put on your fascia whenever you bear weight on it so for example you stand up or you walk you run you sprint the bigger you are or the higher your weight is of course the more tension that the fascia needs to produce for us to hold up our body and for it to efficiently work so that we can move well but guys it's not only your fascia the your weight that has a correlation on your plantar fascia so more than your weight we wanted to be looking at your foot pressure so foot pressure guys basically is when you stand up where do you feel your weight is falling on is it on the on your heel part is it on the on your toes or on the front part of your foot is it on the outer part of your foot or is it on the inner part of your foot is it more on the left side than the right side or is it equal now the reason foot pressure is really important is uh, this is a clue for us to know if the force being dissipated going upstream on our body is equal so if our foot pressure is equal we can assume that there's equal distribution of force going up on our body therefore the plantar fascia is working efficiently there are some times that our foot pressure is not equal meaning you, f you feel it more on your heel part you feel it more on the outer side of your foot whenever you stand so that means that side is working more than the other areas wherein you don't have foot pressure. Instead of weight, we'll be looking more deep into foot pressure and how it affects our plantar fascia. Foot pressure won't be equal, is not equal if you don't have good alignment of your foot posture. So for example, if you're overpronated or your foot is overly supinated, there's a high chance that the pressure on your foot when you stand up won't be distributed or is not equal. So as an activity, let's just try to check our foot pressure. So we're going to stand up and then we're going to check on both feet our foot pressure. And the first thing that I would like you to check or look at right now as you're standing, I want you to compare between the left foot and the right foot and then look for whether you have more pressure on the right foot compared to the left foot or is it the left foot compared to the right foot or is it equal and then just note what you feel there now the next thing we're gonna look at as we stand up let's focus more on the left side of our foot and then divide that foot into upper quarter meaning the top part of your foot and then the lower quarter which is the lower part of your foot now on the left foot do you feel the pressure more on the heel part or more on the toes part or on the front part of your foot or is it equal in the middle so i just want you to feel where you feel the pressure more is it more on the front part or the back part and then note again what you noticed next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch sides we're gonna go on towards our right foot and then divide again the foot into upper quarter and left quarter and then check where our foot pressure is on the right side is it more on the heel part or on the back part 
or is it more again on the toes part or in the front part and then check again so note what you noticed when you're trying to feel your foot pressure now once you've done that we're gonna go back again on the left side of the foot now we're gonna divide it into two halves the left side and the right side or the outer part and the inner part of the foot now I want you to feel where your foot pressure is is it more on the outer part of the sole of your foot or is it more on the inner part of the sole of your foot and then note again what you feel and then we're gonna try to switch on the right side and then same thing again and then divide your foot into two halves so the inner part and then the outer part and then feel again or notice again your foot pressure is it more on the inner side or on the outer side and then note again the difference that you feel there now guys once we have our findings we can now assume or we can now pinpoint where our foot pressure is and where we are not placing pressure or have any foot pressure at all so i'll be using myself as an example right now okay guys so now as i'm standing so i'm checking to see where my weight is so right now i can feel that the right side has much more foot pressure compared to my left foot so this foot compared to this foot this has more pressure the right side now so i'm gonna look at the right side first now i'm gonna divide it into two so top part and low part lower part and then check where i feel the pressure the most <coughs> so for me it's on the heel part so i feel it more on my heels on the right side of my foot and then i'll compare it on the left side so on the left side it's also the same it's also on the heel part now i'm going to divide my foot into left and right side so i'm gonna proceed first with the right side of the foot now on my right side i can feel it more on the outer part of my foot and then on the left side i can feel it more on the inner side of my foot okay guys so now as you can see in the photo so i have more pressure on the right side so it's dark right there compared to the left side of my foot which is uh, the l and then r for right side and then my foot pressure is more on my heel part and the outer part of my body or of my foot on the right side while on the left it's more on the heel part and then the inner part my body okay now guys ideally we want the foot pressure to be distributed all throughout the foot now this what we call the tripod support for our foot wherein we should feel distribution of forces these areas should be in contact with the ground all throughout especially if we're just standing or bearing our weight there should be equal pressure on these points which are your the ball of your foot on the toe part and then the ball of your foot on the pinky part and then the last part is your heel so there should be an equal distribution on that force and then you should form an inverted triangle there wherein the pressure should be in the middle part of those triangles so we wanted to create that distributed foot pressure for us to improve mechanics of force distribution of our plantar fascia now for us to do that we're gonna do some exercises very simple exercises that you can do at home for you to be able to correct or fix work that foot pressure right away you just need number one a towel and then second is a floor to stand on that's basically it and then we're just going to train our foot to pronate and supinate while placing a towel underneath the areas wherein our foot doesn't have pressure so let's dive into it okay so guys for this exercise we're gonna use two rolled towels and then we're gonna train our foot to both pronate and supinate while we're increasing or developing the pressure on the sides of our foot that doesn't have any pressure at all so if you remember on my right side all the pressure is on the back part of the heel 
and then on the outer side of my, my foot. So I'm gonna train first my right foot. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place the towel where I don't have any foot pressure at all. So I'll place one towel here on my toes. And then the other one is on the inner part of my foot, which is here because I don't have any pressure at all on my on the inner side of my foot so it's going to be like this and then what I'm going to do is while standing up I'll just place my hands on my chest and I'm just going to turn my whole body going this way so it creates that supination mechanics of that foot or that turning outward of the foot when I turn my body going this way and then I'll also turn my body towards this way so that creates that pronation of that foot and then i'm just going to repeat the sequence for 10 repetitions and then i'll do it three sets so sometimes your foot will slide off on the towel so it's okay to readjust everything and then do again the exercise So I'm focusing one foot at a time with this exercise. And then, get off the towel and then recheck how's, the foot, how's your foot pressure after the exercises. It should feel lighter on the foot and you should feel that the pressure on your foot is much more distributed. And you have that tripod wherein you have pressure on the balls of your toe, on the big, on the big toe. And then the pressure also on the balls of the pinky and then on your heel so right now for me it's so good to stand on this side of my foot now we're gonna train it on my other foot so on my left side if you remember all the pressure is inside the foot and on my heel part so what i'm going to do is place again a towel on the front part of my foot so which is there and then so I have more pressure on the inner part, so I'll place the towel on the outer part of my foot right here. And then from here, same thing, I'm going to try to supinate or turn my whole body going this way. So it creates that supination mechanics of the foot. And then I'll also turn this way, which creates that flattening of the arch of the foot and then turning in. And then same thing, I'm going to repeat the sequence for 10 repetitions, 3 sets. Again, readjust if you feel that your foot is off the towel. So, and then after that, reassess your foot pressure. So right now, I don't feel that much on my heel anymore. So I still need to work on my right foot or on my left foot, so. But it's way, way different than earlier wherein I feel all my weight on my heels. So right now, I stand much more evenly and I have a, a good foot pressure. Okay guys, so that's how you equalize foot pressure on your foot. So right now it really feels good and you should try it at home but it's important for you to reassess first where is your foot pressure before doing this one and then once you manage to improve or equalize the pressure on your foot you can also start shaving off or trimming off your weight by really important number one is diet and then second is exercise so you have to strengthen the muscles also around your foot so doing some calf raises and ankle strengthening exercises those muscles will support your ankle and foot for a better weight transfer all the way upstream in our body and all the way downstream to the ground it's the plantar fascia that is the bridge between our body and the ground and it's really important to take care of it by number one making sure the pressure is equal by doing those exercise i just showed you and then second is weight management so if you feel that you're heavy and obese you feel sluggish when you move it's and you have plantar pain it's high time for you to start working out working on your diet bit by bit you can really fix 
this unrelenting pain on your heel. So don't worry if you can't stand on your foot right now because of pain. Just do some non-weight bearing exercises on your body, increase the strength of your core, and then eventually everything will follow. So again guys, this is just the third part of this series and if you like this video, please like the video here and subscribe in the channel so there's more to come in which uh, we will discuss exercises, manual therapy, medications, and chronic plantar fascial pain. So there's a lot more to come, all the things that you need for you to, it's going to be a guide for you to be able to completely get rid of your plantar or heel pain. So make sure guys that you're subscribed in the channel, you like the videos, and you share it also with your friends who have plantar fasciitis. It will definitely help them for this one. So see you guys on the next video.